Ooh. This camera is very precariously balanced right now. It is the last day of my Bali trip. I'm wearing my <laughs> super nerdy Bali shirt that I got like on the first day when the airline lost my luggage and I was just like naked and afraid it's the only way to describe it but I wanted to do a quick intro for this video so today's video was really important for me to make because it's kind of like the antidote to all of the I don't know if you think they're epic, but I think they're pretty cool travel videos I've been posting. I wanted to do a very honest diary of what it's like to travel alone and some of the ups and major downs associated with solo travel. This is sort of like a chronological story of my travels in Bali, so here we go. If I'm being totally honest, uh, when I first arrived, I wasn't really my best self. Like I was having this case of like crippling self-doubt about not my ability to travel alone but just like I was in a hostel and it's been a really long time since I've been in a social situation like that like pretty much when I joined a sorority was the last time I was like plopped into a group of new people where I don't know anyone and at first I was like they all know I'm weird this is so stupid but like I had this teddy bear and I brought it with me and I was like oh my god I feel so dumb I'm 27 years old and I brought a fucking teddy bear to Bali to like comfort me and to cuddle with when I sleep like it's so stupid <laughs> But I was like, I don't want anyone to see this bear. That's so embarrassing. Why do I feel like I'm gonna cry now? This is ridiculous. I was like, I don't want anyone to see this bear like they'll think I'm weird I was like, you know what? That's who I fucking am. I am a grown-ass woman who enjoys cuddling with a teddy bear and you know what? It was cute and I love it and there's nothing wrong with who I am. I made so many friends in that hostel so it's like <laughs> I had nothing to worry about but that was really how I was feeling in the first few days and then now I feel pretty good now. There have been some moments where it would be nice to have a partner with you but then there's also moments where like kind of fun to be alone like last night I put on Queen and I was like dancing alone like crazy in my Airbnb and it was just really fun so yeah there's definitely like ups and downs to traveling alone but that's sort of how I've been feeling so far and I guess I will check in again a few days from now okay see you later it's 345 When I went to bed tonight, like a bunch of fucking dead ants fell out of my pillowcase and I was like, I've seen worse, whatever. And then Q2 in the morning. <gasps> she was like, come to in the morning, I go to the bathroom, flick on the light and there's the biggest cockroach I've seen in my life in there. So gross. I don't know what I'm gonna do because like there is zero <laughs> chance of me sleeping now in this place and I'm supposed to be here for another another night I don't know what I'm gonna do oh excuse me I don't know what I'm gonna do the joys of travel the part that no one tells you about when you're in a bug infested room and you can't sleep and you're all alone and it just fucking sucks one thing that has been really, really awesome about solo travel is how many new friends I've made. Like, I <laughs> admittedly can be super antisocial, I think, because I'm an only child. Like, I can literally just, like, be alone for, like, a year and not notice. But here, because I am alone, I've actually gone out and, like, actively sought new friendships. And I've made a ton of really cool friends. I know if I would have had someone with me, I would have just been, like... I already have a friend, like I don't need to go make another one. But if you put yourself out there even a little bit while traveling, if you're staying in like a hostel or you see someone swimming in the pool of the Airbnb you're staying in, if you just go and talk to them, it's so easy to make friends while traveling. It's actually crazy. It's been really, really fun making new friends here and just getting to know people who you would have never otherwise met. When you're traveling alone, and especially when you're a female, um, you really like have a hyper sense of awareness about your surroundings, whose car you're getting into, where you're going, is this safe, and you know, just the usual stuff. And so my first three weeks of this trip, I was totally alone, right? And when Troy came to visit, it felt like there's this massive like weight lifted off my shoulders. It's interesting when you're traveling alone in a different country, there's just like a heightened sense of awareness sort of about everything. 
Um, and it was really nice this week to have my boyfriend here because, well, I missed him a lot. I'm crying like a little bitch. <laughs> um, I missed him a lot and we got to hang out and it just felt too short and now he's already gone. So sometimes it's just really, I don't know. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. I'm just feeling a little bit bummed out right now because I'm alone again. And I was really, really enjoying <laughs> having someone to do stuff with and whatever. So that's kind of today's update for what it's really like to travel alone. Not the best update, but yeah, that's how I'm feeling right now. And I always want to be honest with you in terms of like how I'm actually feeling. So hi, hi, hi. So there was a lot of times when I filmed for this video and I was having really like negative feelings because those are more intense feelings and when I was super happy usually I was just vlogging so you saw that anyways but there was a few other things that I wanted to I, I made little notes in my phone about stuff that I wanted to share with you so one of the things that I actually really liked about traveling solo is that you have a lot of time to be super introspective so you got to learn you got to I got to learn a lot about myself and sort of just like learn to accept myself or who I am. I mean, not that I hadn't already, but when you really have a lot of alone time to like think, you know, like maybe too much time to think, but you have a lot of time to think so you learn things about yourself that maybe you didn't know before and I just kind of came to accept a lot of things about myself that before maybe I was like, oh, I should try and work on this, but you know what? We all are who we are and that's kind of that. So that was one thing I really liked about solo travel. It's the time to just accept yourself for who you are. Uh, one other thing I noticed is that I've never really felt like homesick before. Like I don't think that this is something I really experience because usually I'll be traveling with my significant other, friends, family, and when you're around the people you love most, I find I just like don't miss home because home is where your family is and where your friends are and where your boyfriend is and i really did feel like periods of homesickness on this trip because i was alone you know and that was something interesting because i'd never really felt that before solo travel it has its ups and downs but i would say overall it was a net positive experience like i felt so strong so independent and i really just learned so much about myself and if you're ever considering going on a solo trip my best advice to you would be to number one do your research know where you're going know what the customs are be prepared before you show up and that you can do it like you are strong enough like if i can do it and i'm a sensitive little fairy <laughs> obviously you saw me crying in this video if i can do it you can do it and trust me like it's just gonna be so awesome and you're gonna get to know so much about yourself and thank you for watching my Bali series. I have so much more travel coming up. It's an exciting few months ahead and thank you for all your support on this trip and if you're new here, make sure you leave me a comment, introduce yourself. And yeah, that's it for today. That's it for Bali, holy shit, we're done. It's crazy, I've just had the most amazing time here. Bali is the most beautiful island and I would love to come back, oh, baby crying and explore more of Indonesia. So thank you for your eye, thank you for your ear, and I'll see you back at home in LA. Monkeys just are my jam, man. Oh my gosh! That is so scary! <laughs>